So I have made it to the lake I'm going to be fishing today. And uh, full disclosure, this reservoir here is called Bellamy Reservoir, and it's going to be the home of my next kayak tournament. Today was the only day that I could find time to practice. Hopefully I can kind of figure them out today. Now just looking at this place on Google Maps, half of this lake is pretty shallow. The other half actually is pretty deep. I've heard a couple things about this reservoir. I've actually heard it's one of the best crappy fisheries in all of the state. And then I also heard that you're gonna be catching a lot of 14, 15 inch largemouth. So I'm hoping to really find that like 17, 18 inch caliber fish today. And unfortunately, I am down to three GoPro batteries again, just because all of my GoPro brand batteries don't work anymore. It's actually only my Chinese kind of knockoff GoPro batteries that are still working. So I'm gonna try to film everything I can today, but with three batteries, that's only about three hours of film time with my chest cam. But with my rear view camera, I should be able to film all day. have about three foot of visibility, maybe a little bit less. But what I think I will do is start out at the shallow end, kind of work there, then maybe work my way to the deep end because this boat launch kind of cuts this lake in half. Left is the shallow, right is the deep. So I think I'm just gonna head left off this shoreline right here. And I'm not gonna go very far at all because I've never been here. There's absolutely no point in just going like a mile away from the ramp right off the bat. Might as well just start here and just work my way through this whole lake, hopefully. I also brought eight rods today to try to figure them out, but, but I'm gonna go through my rods kind of just throughout the day. I also wanna try these net bait ions apparently they got bait fuel in them and i've heard good things about bait fuel i've heard not so nice things about bait fuel but why not just try it out oops Feels like a 12 incher. Well, that did not take long at all. Okay, yeah, 13 incher right there. At this tournament have to be at least 12 inches so that is a keeper but three thirteens if i want to compete in the top three are just not going to help i'm really gonna have to find those like 18 19 inch caliber fish if i want to compete Feels like a pick, yep. That's because it is a pick.
What kind of frog? Um, it's not super, super thick vegetation. So I think this one with the kicking legs. Really? Ah, brah, seriously? That's 10 bucks down the drain right there. Oh, man, and then look at that hook. No wonder why I didn't catch him. Man. <laughs> this is only the second time I've used this bait. All right, so I've been fishing now for about an hour and only that one 13 incher to show for it. I did get one bite on the frog, but that could have just been a pickerel, which is why it ripped the leg off. I'm gonna switch back to the wacky rig real quick. Yeah, she'll go 12. A little bit of a dance on the way out. Take off the crankbait and uh, let's put on a spinnerbait. All right, let's switch over to a spinnerbait for a little bit.
All right, that's probably a 12. Now let's switch back over to a spinner bait. All right, so I've been fishing now for about two and a half hours and just those few small bass to show for it, but I still have plenty of time to try to figure them out where they like to hang out here. And um, because I only have one battery left for my chest cam, what I'm going to do is hold off on putting that in until I reach the bridge about a mile down this reservoir, or maybe half of a mile, three quarters. Right now, I'm just going to be sticking with this spinnerbait for the time being. Uh, this is actually a 3 8 ounce spinnerbait from Guggen Squad. I believe they call their spinnerbait a zinger. All right, so I've been fishing now for about five hours. And as you guys can see in front of me, I've basically made it to that bridge. But what I'm gonna be doing right now is switching over from this Guggen Squad spinnerbait to a Project Z weedless chatterbait. Okay, all right, I'll definitely take that. Definitely the uh, longest fish today. Uh, that'll go 13. It was like a 12 incher right there.
Well, that is it for today. And uh, overall, caught some fish, nothing of size. Now, I did finish with like a 39 inch limit and that's going to do me absolutely nothing come tournament time. I'm really going to have to catch like an 18 and two 17s if I really want to compete in the top three. But unfortunately, since this is the only day to practice, I really didn't even make it to the deep side of this lake. I fished for eight hours today and only fished about half of this reservoir. Come tournament time, I think it's going to be rough to even uh, catch a limit. I was told this place is pretty stingy with the bass, but I really thought I was going to be able to catch like at least a 15 incher today, but I believe I already have my first spot picked out for the tournament. But anyways, I'm hungry. I need to get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Peace.